About 3,000 years ago, a man by the name of David wrote that the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Hello, my name is David Reeves, and today, just as King David stated in the book of Psalms, the very same heavens continue to declare the glory of our Creator. By way of powerful telescopes, the grandeur of His universe can be seen in ever-increasing detail, and we now know that His handiwork extends for trillions of miles further than the eye can see. The book of Daniel informs us that at the time of the end, knowledge will increase. In 1609, Galileo first viewed the night skies through his telescope, and since that time, we have achieved some understanding of what we see in the heavens. But how much do we really know? Do we really understand the nature of the universe? Today, much of what scientists present is based on theory. In other words, many of the things that we are being told simply cannot be proven. Even so, those theories are being presented in a way that would lead us to believe that they are established fact. That's a problem, and there's an even greater problem. Many of the theories that are being presented are in direct opposition to the account of creation as recorded in the book of Genesis, theories that have led many to deny the very existence of our Creator. Is what we see around us the result of happen chance? An explosion? A Big Bang some 14 billion years ago? Is it just a coincidence that conditions on Earth are exactly those needed to support life? Or is there order in the universe that could only be the result of the handiwork of a loving Creator? I invite you to join with me as the heavens declare the glory of God. David Reeves Ministries offers an informative and entertaining multimedia presentation based on scriptural references to astronomy as they relate to creation. The magnificent beauty of the heavens speak of the glory and knowledge of the Creator. Truly, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. David encourages believers as they're faced with the unproven theories of evolution which deny the biblical creator. This is perhaps the most dangerous trap for Christians because if scientists can convince believers that God needed the help of evolution to make this universe, or that he just couldn't make it in six days, that it actually took him a few billion years, then what in the world will be the next compromise that we as Christians are asked to make? This is a legitimate and important question that we have to ask ourselves. How strong is our faith? By way of deep sky photography and common sense terminology, the mysteries of the universe unfold in a manner that is easily understood. An unforgettable experience for all age groups. You'll notice that a lot of times, astronomers use terminology such as astronomical units, or the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Light years are parsecs when they're describing the distance to astronomical objects. Well, does anyone know what a parsec is? I'll go ahead and tell you. It's the parallax of one second of arc. It makes perfect sense to all of us now, right? Of course not. So I'm not going to be talking in those difficult terms. I'm going to talk in terms of years and miles, which almost everyone understands. This exciting multimedia presentation is conducted in your auditorium. Afterwards, when weather permits, the presentation then moves outdoors for live telescope views projected onto a giant screen. A unique opportunity for fellowship and community outreach. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. In Genesis we read, And God said, Let there be light. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. 
he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So just as the great wonders in the sky above are examples of his workmanship, we are his workmanship. The Bible tells us that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. We're the final creation of God's universe. So we must always remember to thank our Creator for what He has given us as believers, the privilege of eternal life and eternal enjoyment of His creation. As it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love Him. To make arrangements for the presentation of this inspiring and informative seminar, contact David at davidreamsministries.org.